few isolated showers and thunderstorms begin to fire up as early as early afternoon. And one or two of these could be strong to severe. But the main line of thunderstorms moves in between 3 and 4 o'clock. Hey friends, so here we are here in Lounge Grove Plantation. It is Friday, April 19th. We're here for Chesley and Paul. Today we have a little situation. We are uh, under a severe thunderstorm tornado watch warning from the Weather Channel. Um, so it's a quite, a, quite a challenge, but I think we're gonna be okay. So today I'm shooting with a Fujifilm X-Pro2, BAM. And my X, uh, this is my favorite camera, the Rolly Flex. I'm also shooting with the X-T2 camera with an 85 lens. Well, this is a 56, which is equivalent to 85. This is another X-T2 with a 35 lens, 1.4. I've been loving these cameras lately. The results are phenomenal. It's super fast. And uh, so I'm really happy with it. But anyway, I thought I'd say hey. I hope you follow along. And, uh, and hopefully we can get some uh, behind the scenes footage for you guys. Let's go. So our situation is the wind is picking up. Um, they're calling for 70 miles an hour. So when we got here, the wind was already around 20. So the wind's around 30, 40 now, and they hung up some lanterns up on the tent. So the planners are thinking about taking them down for safety purposes. So we had to bring the bride out. I wanted to make sure that she sees them because they pay for that, you know? So. I wanted to make sure that she sees them before they take them down. We are taking pictures of them, um, so that's kind of like the plan right now. And then we're going to go take some pictures of the bride and the bridesmaids wearing their pajamas. So, let's go. We're getting ready to put on the dress. Typically, I try to get the bridesmaids uh, photos with their pajamas and robes, and then I tell them, okay, good, go ahead and put on your dresses. Chesley, or the bride, is going to be the last one because I want the bride, the maid of honor, and the mom to be dressed when they're helping the bride put on her dress. So instead of wearing pajamas, they're already dressed in their wedding outfits. So that's kind of typically my plan on every wedding day. And that's what we're doing right now. Mom is putting on her dress, sister's putting on her dress, and then our bride is going to be putting on her dress. So we're gonna put her dress on here in this room. I try to pick a room where it's nice, uh, with no mess, no clutter, minimal clutter, and a lot of natural light. So out of the whole place in this house, this is one of the rooms that has a lot of light. So I just told her earlier, asked her to bring all of her shoes, her jewelry, everything else that she's gonna wear. And then from there, we're gonna move on to probably uh, first look with her dad. She wants to do a first look with her dad. And right now we're still undecided whether we're going to do a first look with her groom. The beauty about this is if it misses us, if it misses us, we're gonna, we're gonna have some awesome sunset. Because right now, technically, it's passing us right now. I don't know. There's something magical about Charleston wedding, so keeping my hopes up. Think positive. Think positive. And Jesus came. Camera's getting wet. So bad. 
you think? So I'm thinking she still has the decision to make to do a first look or not do a first look, but I definitely need some more shots of the bridesmaids. I mean, shots here was, was okay. I prefer them outside. We can't obviously do them here because it's wet. We're making good timing. Everybody was on time here and makeup was perfectly early. So we've got about an hour and 15 before the actual ceremony. So this is the time when I am just shooting decor. When I'm shooting decor, I just want to make sure that what I am looking at is actually the prettiest part of the vase. Um, so it's very important to do that. Like this is not the prettiest, it's pretty, but I'm always turning it where my photos will reflect the prettiest part of the vase. Very, very important. Um, it's also important to take time to do that because you're not only shooting for the bride, you're also taking photos for the planners and the, the florists for their portfolio. So they'll recommend you. They like that. They like it when you give them some pictures and it's just how the industry works. So right now it's about, we're about 25 minutes from the ceremony. Right now is the time that I regroup with my team, my second photographer, third photographer, if we have one, to basically figure out where they're gonna stand and where I'm going to stand and where I don't want them to stand. So basically, typically it's pretty standard for every wedding. I don't want them standing in front of the groom because I plan to photograph the groom, the groom's reaction as the bride is walking down the aisle. So it's very important for her to stay on this side and stay low and also, I try to tell her to not worry about me. I'm gonna try to shield myself behind the bride so I'm not in her shot as she's taking photos of the bride coming down the aisle. So this is a little dis a different situation because it's a little tight, but I think we can make it work. Uh, we have a couple videographers. I coordinated with them too, so they're not in my shot and I'm not in their shot. So it's always important that videographers are, are team players, are team members of this whole party. So it's important that we work together uh, and that we're not in each other's shot as much as possible. So sometimes they're in my shot, but I try to avoid them and we try to communicate with them and make sure that we're all on the same page. So that's what we're working on right now. And then I'm gonna set up my light. Uh, we're gonna take some family photos up here. It looks a little dark, so I think I normally shoot photos without flash and with using natural light, but with, in this case, I might need to have my flash because it's not very bright in here. Good, a couple more just like that. Happy. Perfect, love it. Good job. And one, good, hang on. We are about to do the first dance. I was gonna finish up with them in the balcony, because typically I try to be mindful that after a portrait session they're hungry, they need to freshen up, they need to go to the bathroom, groom needs a drink, but uh, we're actually behind schedule, so uh, we're gonna try to get back on schedule, and then we're gonna bring the bride and groom upstairs to finish up on the balcony, but I've got everything I needed. I just, I just wanted some uh, balcony photos, so we're gonna do that later on, after the first dance. We're gonna do first dance, father daughter dance, mother son dance, and then we're gonna do uh, our dad's speech, and then we're gonna go upstairs. So that's what's going on right now. I'm sticking with my Fuji cameras. My other Fuji's been acting up. I don't know what's going on. I dropped it last weekend. Um, it's been dragging a little bit, but it's not hurting me or anything, but I thought it was just weird. I think it might be my lens. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do right now, first dance. I feel good. I feel really good because 
I had a feeling earlier that we're gonna have a nice sunset. I just didn't want to say anything. Although I think I said it in the in the video earlier. I had a very good feeling. Um, so I'm thinking I need to get my laptop now. This is the time where I try to just start uploading some pictures. Um, so I don't have to do it later tonight and I can get some teasers out. That's, that's been what I've been trying to do this season is trying to get some teasers out. Um, it's like, I don't know, young people these days, they want to post right away the next morning. So I want to give them a few images to post. It's also good for advertising and marketing because they tag me and then all their friends see it and they're excited. So I'm gonna go grab my backpack before it starts pouring again and then I'm gonna start downloading cards while Aliona is going to be covering the floor for me. So I've got my laptop, I got an external drive that I label work in process. So all the projects that are open that I'm working on are in there. And they're also backed up in my main drive at home. So right now, I'm, I had to change cards earlier because it's full. So I'm gonna upload that first. And it, it'll take about, it'll take a few minutes, like probably 15 to 20 minutes. So I guess it's one of those days we got blessed with a good weather. You know, we were, we were feeling kind of defeated there with the weather forecast, but just we're grateful that we're able to pull off a lot of the pictures that normally we wouldn't because of the forecast. So we were very lucky and um, Chelsea and Paul, they're happy. Um, I'm gonna go home and edit some photos, put out some teasers tomorrow. So you guys probably won't see this until a couple weeks later, but I want you to, to know that I thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions about gear or anything that we did today, leave me a comment below. That's about it. We're closing out. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Oh